In our previous example, we have created a visitor file. We'll be right now using that visitor file in order to generate server skeletons for Apache Access Server. Double click the visitor file. Here is the visitor file. Just to recap, uh, we have created service code service which has an operation get price which takes in input and gives output. And here are the response xsd elements so in order to proceed with the next steps we first have to have valid installations required for us to proceed apache ant i am using version 1.8.2 and apache access 2 of version 1.6.2 and we need to set certain environment variables for the application bin path of apache in the path environment variable and the directory where the apache ant 1.8.2 is unzipped as ant home and uh, please note that this folder directly has bin in it so we'll have to set environment variable apache um, access to home and currently for me the apache access 1.6.2 that i have downloaded is at this location on my machine we need to have a java installation and i am using jdk 1.6.20 is the update jre home variable is to be set and class path should be having the entries that are required for java to run we typically have the lib folder that we get as part of jdk installation and then we specifically set paths to tools.jar and rt.jar you might want to pause the video and have a look uh, at respective paths on your machine before we proceed further. Create a folder stock code ws in your D drive and place the visitor file that is already created by us in the previous examples in that particular folder. Here is the folder and I have placed the visitor file here. This when we try to open with any editor that you have is a simple xml file and we are not interested in the spe in the specific tags that eclipse has generated for us we would be directly using the visual file that is generated and we'll be proceeding with further steps here in our case we already are having stock code visual stock code visual file that we have placed here we already have that file and if you see this command this command would be run in this folder stock code ws let's have a quick listing directory listing we have stock code visual and then the command that we'll have to run is this one so we are referring to visual to java.bat from access installation and then we give URA where we show where the visual file is located because this visual file is located in the current working directory where we are we mentioning only the visual file directly is enough and then hyphen d adb is the default data binding uh, that, that that is to be used in the generated code Apache Access supports different kinds of data binding and for this particular example we are going to use Access Data Binding where Access Axiom data structure would be used. Hyphen S actually signifies that the generated code should be using synchronous invocations and the next switch hyphen SS actually means that server side skeleton has to be generated and SD means that service descriptor has to be generated and in this case it's going to be service.xml and SSI means that an implementation interface also is to be generated. Hyphen O specifies the location on my hard drive where the generated code is to be placed and in this particular case I have given the entry as service. So once this command is executed the visual to java visual to java tool is going to generate is going to generate synchronous server side skeleton 
with service descriptor and implementing interface which uses axis data binding in a folder called service on the hard drive just hit enter and yes uh, we we have we have the output and let's see what is the code generated so in service folder we have build xml generated we'll be uh, understanding why this is required in subsequent steps but right now we are not interested in it and then we have resources folder right under services folder we have resources folder in which this descriptor file is generated which in this case is services.xml and stock code service.wisdl file the original wisdl file the original wisdl file that we have generated and which we have placed in stock code ws is now present in resources folder so if you observe in stock code ws as a sibling service folder is created which now holds the source code that is generated service folder has src in it and finally we have the java code that is generated in this if observed this is the namespace www.example.org slash stock code this is the way the namespace is transformed into a folder structure and these are the java files that are generated we'll be looking at the java files in a moment now go stock code ws where the code is generated in the service folder we have the resources service xml and stock code which still are placed in this and then in src folder now the next thing we'll have to do is create a java project in eclipse name it as stock code ws a java project is created and under src folder copy the source that is generated by the tool which we have done just now copy org and paste it we now have source code pasted in this and before we proceed we have to set the libraries so this is how we go to project properties right click the project go to project properties and under libraries tab add external jars add external jars and in access to we have lib folder add all jar files as project libraries the jar files are added now click on order and export tab click select all and click ok now the project libraries are added are added to the java project now let us compare the generated java code with the wisdl file one thing which we are interested in here is input is of type get price output is of complex xml element type get price response we have respective java source code generated get price and get price response let's open get price java file format the code and see the variable that is created local symbol is the variable that is created and we have setters and getters created for that get symbol set symbol now when we try to draw an analogy between the wisdl file let's 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 open get price complex element get price has symbol in it so the generated java code get price has local symbol in it so local is a word that is prefixed by the apache access generation tool and we have this source code that is generated and the next thing we are interested is the response get price response see the generated get price response code format the code save it and observe the variable created it is local underscore written but in case of get price it was just local symbol there was there is no underscore that is uh, present here 
the reason for this is return return happens to be a java keyword if you see return is a java keyword and hence an underscore is placed here and so the getters and setters are generated respectively we close these files and the next thing we are imp interested is the actual implementation now let's open the visitor file and the operation for us is get price and in generated code we have stock code service skeleton dot java open this format the code and hit control o here we get all this is a method view in eclipse and get price is a method that is already defined in the generated source code here we have the get price method to draw an analogy visual file has get price as an operation which ended up as a method as a java method here now get price takes in get price and gives get price response as an output the return type is get price response here and the method parameter is get price so to draw an analogy input attribute becomes method parameter and output attribute becomes methods return type and in generated java code by default access has generated with a throws unsupported operation exception access wants to make sure that access is not giving the actual business implementation see if you correctly understand web services an input at the endpoint url when invoked finally lands into this get price method so here is the place where we'll have to write our business logic still in this and we are supposed to return get price response let's write some java code initialize this variable and then we try to return some value followed by return get price response this that's it uh, this happens to be our business logic implementation any hit uh, that comes to this endpoint URL will result in this method to be invoked and a value called 200 would be packed in the response XML and sent back the response XML would be in this format return slash return and the value 200 would be embedded in it now that we have written our services code we want to generate a module and deploy this in apache access server the next step is trying to define a module so for this copy the source code please please note that we have modified code in stock code service skeleton <coughs> now we are copying this modified code and we'll be placing this back stock code ws was the folder that we created this is the visual file from which the folder uh, service is created and source code in it is generated so under src folder just paste this here so in other words we are getting the changes that we have done in eclipse to this folder now coming back here at our command prompt see there's a service folder here is the service folder this now has the modified source code go into it and now we find build xml this build xml is auto generated xml file so build xml is the auto generated build xml file which packs the files in resources folder and source folder into an R file a module it's an access to module so the next thing that we do is hit and 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 click enter the, the source code is being compiled and by default picks build.xml that is present in current uh, working directory and proceeds with that because access tool already has generated build xml and we have not altered any source folder structures we are good to go and we have executed that here is the r file that is generated for us